What's up guys, it's Brendan from modern to me and today we are going to be talking about Java. If you don't know what Java is, Java is a programming language that can be used to make games. If you didn't know how games are made, now you do, you program them. You type in some code and you, you run your program and there you have a game. It's not that easy, but I'm going to try to make it that easy. Uh, programming is really not that hard, so just sit tight and we're going to learn how to do it. So why should you learn Java over another programming language? Because if you didn't know, there's tons of programming languages out there, and a lot of them can be used to make games. So why should you choose Java over another, um, maybe even better programming language that a lot would argue? Well, for me, I like Java because it's a very simple language. The learning curve is significantly lower than another language like C++ or something like that. I find it to be uh, a lot easier to learn, especially for beginners. So if you're a beginner, definitely stay tuned because I think Java is going to be a great choice for you. Java is also very portable from operating system to operating system, so you can just type one program and have it run on Windows and Mac instead of having to worry about converting your code to have it run uh, on multiple operating systems like a lot, of, a lot of other programming languages might require you to do. Java is really great for Android. If you're making Android games or Android apps, you definitely should use Java because that's the uh, main programming language that the operating system is coded with. So Java is definitely what you need for Android. Uh, but Java is still great for PC games. A lot of people would tell you otherwise. A lot of people would say that Java sucks and Java's crap and you're out of your mind because you want to use Java. And I totally disagree because I think Java is a great language to get started with. And uh, RuneScape, if you've ever heard of RuneScape, that was made with Java. That had some success for a while. And Minecraft was made with Java. Java's wa uh, not Java. Minecraft is wildly successful, as is Java. Java is very popular. Uh, so definitely uh, stay tuned to learn Java because I think Java is a great programming language to use, even if you're not making games. But even if you are making games, especially if you're making games, definitely want to learn Java. So enough of a uh, history class here. Let's get started. To uh, use Java, you can't just like type some magic code and just like snap your fingers, clap your hands, you know, touch your computer. That's not going to work. You 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 can't just have a program appear out of nowhere. You have to have your code converted into code that your computer can use. So in order to do that, you're going to need actually another program. So what you're going to want to do is open up your web browser. Please use Google, Google Chrome because it's just awesome. Uh, but go to oracle.com. You can see Oracle in the top left corner here. And once you're on oracle.com, you're going to go under uh, downloads. And under popular, popular down, downloads, you can click on Java for developers. And once you're here, you're going to want to download the uh, Java JDK. This is going to uh, help you run your program, so uh, you definitely need to get this, otherwise it's just not going to work. You can't program in Java if you don't do this. So uh, You're going to have to accept the license agreement, and you are going to choose your operating system. So uh, choose which one fits for you, depending on the, the bit of your system. So you can download, uh, I download Windows 64-bit. So you're going to click on this. And uh, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to re-download it. But click on that, download it, and uh, once the download comes up, run this exe file, and it's going to install everything you need for uh, for Java. So once you do that, we're going to move on to the next step because it doesn't actually do it all for you. So what you're going to need to do next is you're going to open your command prompt. So if you don't know how to do that, just go down to your start bar and just type. Uh, C, uh, go away. There you go. Just type C M D, and then hit enter, and you will have your command prompt open here. So what you're going to need to do to test out your new Java compiler—that's uh, what the uh, program is called. If I haven't touched on that, that's what runs your code. You're going to need to test it out to see if it's working. So you're going to type Java. C, Java compiler, and hit enter. And it probably isn't working just yet. We're, what you are going to need to do is uh, do a little bit of something with uh, your computer environment variables. Uh, so just bear with me here. Go to your start bar and click control panel. And now you're going to scroll down and click on system. 
and from here you're going to click advanced system settings from here make sure you're in the advanced tab and click on these environment variables what this is going to basically do is it's going to uh, allow your computer to know where uh, where this Java compiler is because right now it has it, it's installed but it has no idea where it actually is right now so you need to fix that so what you're going to need to do is you're going to cl click uh, new and you're going to name the environment variable path uh, capital capital letters just to be safe but just type path and next for this uh, actually uh, we need to get this value here I'm gonna help you find this value real quick uh, I think I'm oh no you don't need to cancel out go to a uh, computer and click on the C drive go into program files scroll down and find the Java the Java folder and uh, you should only have one of these uh, JDK folders I installed this newest version but click on the JDK 1.8 or whatever version uh, you installed if there's a new ver newer version click on that folder click into bin and if you'll see this is where Java C is this is where the compiler is so this is the path you need to tell uh, your computer where the Java compiler is so just click off to the side here if you see that's how I just did that just clicked off to the side and you're gonna copy this path and close out of here now and this is what you're gonna put the uh, the value as so just hit OK and uh, you should see the path is right there so uh, now if you just hit OK and OK again you can close out of your control panel now if you just uh, type Java C oops actually you have to relaunch uh, the command prompt so just do that thing again I showed you where hit the start bar and type CMD and now if you type Java C you'll see that it uh, shows you all of these different uh, uh, different options you can use when launching your program so uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up this tutorial for now you've done enough installing for this tutorial but if you uh, join me for next tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can actually uh, start typing some code so uh, for now I'll see you later guys